Coming up next on the Passion Struck Podcast, everyone's life involves hope, whether we realize it or not. Everyone has some sort of wish. It's a fundamental aspect of being human. Having hope serves as a bridge between our past, present, and future. You envision what you want to take place. Even just imagining it can make you feel better, whether or not it actually does. Welcome to Passion Struck. Hi, I'm your host, John R. Miles, and on the show, we decipher the secrets, tips, and guidance of the world's most inspiring people and turn their wisdom into practical advice for you and those around you. Our mission is to help you unlock the power of intentionality so that you can become the best version of yourself. If you're new to the show, I offer advice and answer listener questions on Fridays. We have long form interviews the rest of the week with guests ranging from astronauts to authors, CEOs, creators, innovators, scientists, military leaders, visionaries, and athletes. Now, let's go out there and become passion struck. Most people are familiar with the myth of Pandora's box as the tale that the ancient Greeks devised to justify the existence of evil in the world. Disease and plagues were gifts that Pandora cast down. Zeus fashioned her to torment people and extract revenge on Prometheus, who gave mankind fire. However, how many of us can recall in the tale that hope is imprisoned in a box and survives long after all other worldly evils have disappeared? Personally, I did not. Philosophers still argue over the significance of that specificity today. Why did hope become stuck if it were the last of the evils? However, if hope is the antidote to corruption, perhaps it was protected by the gods for us. Even today, millennia later, we still disagree on the definition, function, and even the meaning of hope. The idea has persisted in posing problems across history and across disciplines. Do we benefit or suffer from hope? Is it a virtue? Or an illusion. As someone well-educated but skeptical, I have always found it difficult to take hope seriously. I often wonder what is the point in hoping for certain things to happen, especially when the outcome is uncertain. For example, hoping that my 18-year-old remembers to study hard for her chemistry final, or hoping the Earth's temperatures will cool down will prevent rising sea levels. However, when I learned that the University of Alberta and the Hope Research and Impact Institute are leading institutions in hope research, I became curious about hope's potential benefits and whether it can be learned and cultivated. I discovered that we all possess hope, whether we are aware of it or not. Research has shown that hope can positively impact mental health and is a strong predictor of overall well-being. The actual act of being a human being depends on hope. And according to Dr. Judith Rich, a researcher in the fields of transformation and consciousness, hope is a match in a dark place. In today's episode, I will introduce you to a famous historical figure who used the power of hope to unite a nation. I will discuss what hope is, why it's more critical now more than ever, and give you five tips on how to incorporate hope to your own life. For hundreds of years, economic inequality, financial illiteracy, social injustice, unequal access to finance, and a lack of financial respect have hampered opportunities and economic growth for underserved people throughout India. However, it was a challenge that Mahatma Gandhi felt compelled to take on. Gandhi is a famous leader who inspired hope and change in India as well as worldwide. Gandhi was a lawyer, activist, and leader of the Indian independence movement who believed in the power of nonviolence and civil disobedience to bring about social change. Still, he also strongly believed in the power of hope. Gandhi's philosophy of nonviolence and civil disobedience was inspired by his deep belief in the inherent goodness of all people and his conviction that love and compassion could overcome even the most entrenched conflicts and injustices. He believed that people could resist oppression and injustice without resorting to violence, ultimately leading to a more peaceful and just world. Gandhi's philosophy was put into practice in India's struggle for independence from British rule. Gandhi organized massive nonviolent and civil disobedience campaigns, including the Salt Satyagara, in which he and thousands of others marched to the sea to collect salt in defiance of British laws. These campaigns sparked widespread protests, as well as boycotts, and helped to build support for the independence movement. Gandhi's efforts ultimately paid off as India gained independence in 1947. However, Gandhi's work did not end there. He continued to fight for justice and equality, both in India and around the world. He inspired people of all backgrounds to stand up for what they believed in towards creating a more just and compassionate world. Gandhi's actions and influence continue to influence people worldwide, even today. 
Gandhi believed that hope was essential for bringing about positive change and for inspiring people to take action. He believed that hope was a force that could help people overcome adversity and work towards creating a better world. His philosophy has influenced numerous justice movements and his message of compassion and hope continues to motivate people to strive for a better and more hopeful future for everyone. One thing that we can learn from Gandhi about the power of hope is that it is a powerful source of motivation and inspiration. Gandhi used hope as a way to galvanize people and to inspire them to work towards creating a more just and equitable society. He believed that hope could help people overcome fear as well as doubt and could help them persevere even in the face of great challenges. Another lesson that we can learn from Gandhi about the power of hope is that it can be a unifying force. Gandhi believed that hope could bring people together and help them work towards a common goal. He used hope to unite people and inspire them to work towards creating a better world for all of us. Overall, Gandhi's example illustrates the transformative power of hope and how it can motivate and inspire people to work towards creating a better world. So that may lead you to asking the question, what exactly is hope? Depending on who you ask, there are various definitions of hope. When individuals use hope in a spiritual context, they may signify having faith in a higher being and believing in the best. They could use prayer to focus their hope onto others. For others, it might entail always seeing the positive side of things and viewing obstacles as opportunities to grow. In other words, hoping for the best at all times. Martin Luther King said, we must accept finite disappointment, but never lose infinite hope. Hope could also be the desire for a result that improves your life in some way. It not only can make a difficult situation bearable, but it also can help it gradually improve. Whatever the specifics, hope generally refers to a strong yearning for a better condition and the expectation that it will eventually come about. So why is hope needed now more than ever? Everyone's life involves hope. Whether we realize it or not, everyone has some sort of wish. It's a fundamental aspect of being human. Having hope serves as a bridge between your past, present, and future. You envision what you want to take place. Even just imagining it can make you feel better, whether or not it actually does. Hope is a component of the self-narrative about our life that we all have running through our brains, and it helps us determine what we want in the future. Hope can spur you on to take the necessary action if it's something that you can influence, like children fighting to escape poverty. Hope is a powerful emotion that can have a profound impact on an individual's life as well as the world at large. It can inspire people to persevere through difficult times, to pursue their dreams and goals, and to have the strength and resilience to overcome challenges and setbacks. According to American novelist Barbara Kingsolver, the very least that you can do in your life is figure out what you hope for. And the most you can do is live inside that hope, not admire it from a distance, but live right in it under its roof. In today's world, there are many reasons why hope is more important than ever. First and foremost, hope motivates us to keep going, even when things seem impossible or insurmountable. When we have hope, we believe that better days are ahead and that we can make positive changes in our lives and in the world around us. This can give us strength to keep fighting for what we believe in and to never give up, even when the odds are stacked against us. For example, consider the countless individuals who have faced insurmountable challenges such as illness, poverty, or discrimination, and yet have managed to overcome these obstacles through sheer force of will and a belief in a better future. Without hope, it is easy to become discouraged and lose sight of the things that truly matter. But with hope, we can see beyond our current circumstances and find the strength to keep going, no matter how difficult things may seem. Secondly, hope inspires us to dream and imagine a better future. When we have hope, we can envision a world that is more compassionate, more just, and more equitable for all people. This can inspire us to take action and to work towards creating that future rather than simply accepting the status quo. For example, Consider the countless social justice movements that have emerged throughout history, all fueled by a belief in a better world and a desire to make positive impact. Without hope, it's easy to become disillusioned and lose sight of the things that truly matter. But with hope, we can see beyond the limitations of the present and work towards creating a brighter and more hopeful future for all. Finally, hope helps us to find meaning and purpose in life. When we have hope, we can see beyond our current circumstances and focus on the things that truly matter. This can give us the drive and motivation to pursue our passions and to make a positive impact in the world. For example, consider the countless individuals who have dedicated their lives to causes 
such as bettering education, health care, or the environment, driven by a belief in a better world and a desire to make a difference. Without hope, it's easy to become disillusioned and lose sight of the things that truly matter. But with hope, we are able to see beyond our own needs and work towards creating a brighter, more hopeful future for all. Essentially, Hope is needed in the world because it enables us to endure challenges, dream about possibilities, and strive to make a positive impact. Without hope, it can be easy to lose motivation and perspective on what truly matters. Therefore, let's embrace hope and collaborate to build a more optimistic and hopeful future for everyone. Here are five ways to find hope in your own life. Connect with others. Hope can give us a sense of connection as well as purpose beyond ourselves. Surrounding ourselves with supportive friends and family can help lift our spirits and give us hope. Sharing our struggles and challenges with others can provide a sense of connection and belonging and help us see that we are not alone. This can help us find meaning and purpose in our relationships and in our contributions to society. Second, practice gratitude. Focusing on the things that we are grateful for can help shift our perspective and give us hope. Whether it's the beauty of nature, the kindness of a stranger, or the simple pleasures in life, taking time to appreciate the good things can help to bring hope and joy into our lives. Hope can also help us feel connected to something larger than ourselves, which can help provide a sense of meaning and purpose. Third, develop resilience. We may overcome obstacles and failures with the resiliency that hope can provide. We are more inclined to persevere and keep going forward when we possess hope, even when things are difficult. This can help us find significance in the difficulties and the obstacles that we encounter and help us to advance personally. Fourth, find purpose and meaning. Hope can be a powerful source of motivation and can help us find meaning and purpose in our lives. We are more inclined to feel immersed and interested in the world around us when we have hope, which can lead to a sense of fulfillment as well as purpose. Overall, Hope can be a powerful source of inspiration and can help us find meaning and purpose in our lives. Whether pursuing a passion, helping others, or working towards a goal, having a sense of purpose can help us find hope and stay focused on what truly matters. Fifth, practice self-care. Taking care of ourselves physically, emotionally, mentally can help us to keep our spirits up and gives us hope. This may include things like getting enough sleep, exercising, eating a healthy diet, and engaging in activities that bring us joy and relaxation. Seeking out professional help when needed can improve your overall well-being as well as bring hope. By focusing on these areas and incorporating them into our daily lives, we can find hope and stay motivated to pursue our goals and dreams, even in the most difficult of times. In the words of former South African African President Nelson Mandela. Our human compassion binds us the one to the other, not in pity or patronizingly, but as human beings who have learned how to turn our common suffering into hope for the future. The power of hope is immense. It motivates us to achieve the impossibly difficult and sustains us through challenging times. However, it's essential to note that hope alone is not enough. In order to create a brighter and more hopeful future, we must also take action and work towards creating positive change in the world. Although it may be comforting, hope is not a passive emotion. Instead, it's incredibly inspiring. We feel energized when we can picture the future in which we want to take part. We are inspired to act in order to change things. This requires perseverance, determination, and a willingness to take risks and challenge the status quo. But with hope as our guide, we can achieve great things and create a more compassionate, more just, and more equitable world for all people. So let's embrace hope and work towards creating a better future for all. Together, we can make a difference and create a brighter, more hopeful, and more compassionate world. I hope you all enjoyed the show, and I want to thank everyone who wrote in this week, and of course, everybody who listened. Thank you so much. You're about to hear a preview of the Passion Strike podcast interview I did with Dr. Robert Waldinger, who is an American psychiatrist, psychoanalyst, and Zen priest. He is a professor of psychiatry at the Harvard Medical School and directs the Harvard Study of Adult Development, one of the longest-running studies of adult life that's ever been done. We discuss his book, the Good Life, which launches next week. If you were going to make one choice to try to help yourself be happier and have a better life, just one choice, it would be to invest in your relationships. And in some ways, it sounds obvious, it sounds trivial, but it's really important. What we find is that the people who take care of their relationships, who are more active in keeping in contact, who are more active being engaged with other people, that those are the people who have better lives in so many ways. 
Remember, we rise by lifting others. Share this show with those you love. And if you found this episode useful, please share it with somebody else who can use the advice that I gave here today. In the meantime, do your best to apply what you hear on the show so that you can live what you listen. And until next time, live life action struck.